AFC Divisional Winner Projections. We'll talk about that coming up next on New Stripe City. All right, welcome to New Stripe City, a YouTube channel for diehard NFL and NBA sports enthusiasts, sports fans. Today, we are going to be talking about your division winners in the AFC. That is correct. So we'll be talking about the AFC North, AFC South, AFC East, and AFC West. I will give you guys my thoughts on who's going to win the division, how they will probably uh, stack up from one to four. And then I'll even talk about some of the floors and ceilings that I saw going through their respective schedules. So let's kick this thing off. Let's start in the AFC North. With the AFC North, it's one of the hardest divisions in football, in my opinion. Very hard to pick here. Uh, as far as who's going to take the division, obviously, you've got – honestly, this is the hardest division of football. Four teams that could all have shots of making the playoffs. Right now, in fourth place, I had the Steelers. Uh, the Steelers, for me, their floor is seven and ten. Their ceiling is is ten and seven. Maybe, maybe you could get eleven or twelve just off of looking at their schedule in terms of wins that I can straight up see. See about ten of those. They have you know ten possible losses there. I'm not down on the Steelers per se. There are just some other teams on here where I'm just not so sure they could actually end up being third here. But I just think that this next team that I have finishing third has a little bit of a higher um, ceiling, per se, and that's the Browns, right? Cleveland Browns, I got them coming in third. Uh, I have them as having a floor of nine and eight uh, and a ceiling of 12 and five, potentially, depending on how things play out. If all things go well, if Deshaun Watson is that guy, you could see them return to form. Second, I've got the Baltimore Ravens. I've got them having a floor, it looks like, of uh, 10 and 6. And they could also go have a ceiling of 12 and 5. So, you know, Baltimore, I see them uh, possibly finishing second in this division as well. Uh, they could challenge for, for first, obviously. And I think that would make them a playoff team. I think either one of those records would put them in that kind of range there. And then you got the Cincinnati Bengals, which uh, I think they floor for them might be 11 wins. Right. And I think that the ceiling could be potentially 14 wins, depending on how things play out there. Uh, but it's an extremely talented team pulled off 10 wins last season. They have a very favorable, in my opinion, opening to the schedule. Now you will look at those first two games and say, hey, they're divisional games, right? But the thing is, the Browns have a new defensive coordinator they're working through. Ravens have a new offensive coordinator that they're working through, even though these are divisional games. Those will be huge factors, in my opinion, moving forward. Uh, and if you haven't checked out AFC North Talk, that's another podcast that I do. If you want more in-depth kind of rankings and even standings and projections, we also did a breakdown over there. So if you want to check that out, Feel free. The next one, the AFC South. Let's get out of the division that I'm super familiar with and one that I had to do some research on. I um, mean, in fourth place, man, I actually have the Colts here. Uh, right now, I just got the Colts looking at 6 and 11. You know, Anthony Richardson, I like him. I think that he's a future pick. I think that they will take some steps here. 6 and 11 isn't bad. I could see them finishing that way with uh, trying to work through this Anthony Richardson experiment. Uh, I think he is the guy, but even if he is the guy, I think that he'll have to go through some of those lumps that I kind of referred to in my video yesterday as well. Uh, three, I've actually got the Texans here, the Houston Texans. I have them, um, the floor for them is seven and 10. I have the ceiling as a nine and eight team. Uh, not bad. They could bounce back this season with CJ Stroud think that they win at least one more game than the Colts this year, good enough to put them at third in the division. And then that brings me to the Titans. The Titans are a tough team to really look at in terms of what they could be. I've got this team having a floor of 6-11, and 11, 
They could be six and eleven, and the ceiling is ten and seven. That is how variable this Titans team could be. Uh, they could be a ten and seven team. They could be a six and eleven team, which would actually put them as the same as the Colts. So you know they have. Uh, they're a highly volatile team, I think, in this division when it comes down to it. And then that's going to make my number one team, uh, the Jacksonville Jaguars. And I've got them uh, taking this division. And for them, I have them taking this division at a ceiling of 10 and 7 uh, and a floor of 9 and 8. So I think at worst, the Jags are going to be 9 and 8, uh, you know, similar to what Houston's ceiling is. But I think that they take this division. And obviously, um, there is a chance that the Titans could win it because I do have the Titans uh, having a potential 10 and 7 season as well. So it could come down to which team uh, is going to beat each other in the head to head. So right now, I've got the Jags winning it really by a game, honestly, kind of tying it with, with the Titans. It's really, honestly, a toss up between those two. But the Jags just have. A higher floor uh, than I have for the Tennessee Titans. So I'm going to have the Jags taking the AFC South. So if you are putting some money on these and you're looking at over and unders, these are just some of the things that I kind of do. I kind of look at what games I think be losses and then I have potential losses and that helps me set my ceiling and my floor. Um, so next we have the AFC East. This is a very interesting division, especially when you talk about all of the teams that we have in here. Um, starting off in last place, as I usually do, I've actually got the Patriots there. I've got the Patriots at seven and ten. Uh, I don't. I just honestly see this team as a seven and ten team. No floor, no ceiling here for me. Uh, I, I couldn't find any possible losses. Uh, I have them with ten losses. Just looking at their schedule. The interesting thing, though is they have been killing the Jets uh, in recent history, like 14 straight wins. I think that changes this year. I think they do split with the Jets just because of the Aaron Rodgers factor. And speaking of the Jets, that is actually um, going by my floor and ceiling metrics that we have here. I've actually got them as the third team in the division and I have the Jets with a ceiling of 11 and 6, which I think that they'll likely get to. But I do have them with a floor of 8 and 9. So, you know, there are three possible L's that I did see potentially on the schedule that could go either way. I personally feel like they'll be closer to that 11 and 6. Maybe they're, you know, in between. Maybe it's a 10 and 7 kind of thing. But I actually have them um, there for that one. And so I have the Jets actually taking third in the division, which kind of surprised me when I did this. And I actually have the Dolphins finishing second in the division. Uh, the Dolphins, they have a ceiling for me of 11 and six, and they have a floor of nine and eight. So they have, you know, a little bit of a better chance of finishing before the Jets. And that's what kind of pushed them up into that second spot for me, just because the floor was a little higher, or at least one game higher than the Jets have there. So that's that's very interesting to pay attention to and see how this plays out because that Dolphins and Jets, that could kind of be a coin flip for who's second in the division. In terms of who's first, it, it's projected right now from what I'm seeing to be the Bills. And when looking at their schedule, I've got a floor of, of 10 and 7. It's kind of crazy. And then a ceiling of 11 and 6. So the Bills, based off of them kind of dominating this division for the most part, head to head, uh, looking at their schedule, I think that they could continue to push into the playoffs. Now, the Stefan Diggs thing still is going to factor into that. Obviously, injuries factor into all of these. But as it stands now, got the Bills winning uh, the AFC East. Let's talk about the AFC West. AFC West. It's been a division that has been honestly dominated by the Kansas City Chiefs. And honestly, it's just been since Andy Reid and, and Pat Mahomes showed up. They have pretty much run this division. Um, so obviously, we kind of know which direction that's going here. Fourth, though, I've got the Raiders. Uh, as you probably noticed from my uh, 
stream on the power rankings or my video on the power rankings. Not a big fan of the Raiders. Um, and looking at this, I'm still not a big fan of the Raiders. I actually have their floor at three and 14. I've got their ceiling, and <laughs> this is sounding crazy, but when I looked at the possible other possible losses, I got them at four and 13. So I think that they're at least finishing fourth in this division. I could be wrong. Now, if Jimmy G, one thing I will say about Jimmy G, just being honest, is that he actually has a fairly decent record against winning teams. Now, maybe that was influenced by the Patriots and the 49ers heavily. We'll see. We'll find out this year. But I feel comfortable, even if they, they win more than four games, I feel comfortable putting the Raiders here at four uh, in the division for the AFC West. And then three. And third, I have the Denver Broncos. Denver Broncos are another team at first – before I looked at the schedule, I really thought that they could compete in this division. Looking at the schedule, I also have them with a, a floor of 4-13, and 13, and I have them with a ceiling of 7-10. and 10. I hope that I'm wrong. Hopefully, Sean Payton can get that turned around. But based on the opponents that they're playing on the schedule, the schedule is a little tougher than I actually thought that it would be before actually looking into it. So... And then you look at some of their divisional records, and they're they're pretty abysmal as of late. Especially anybody in this in this division against the Chiefs, it's just it's just horrible. But that brings me to my second team in this division. I'm gonna go with the Chargers here. The Chargers also have a highly volatile uh, potential record as well, and honestly, it's probably tied into the injuries. Uh, I've got them having a floor of six and eleven. I don't think that that floor is likely, but they could go six and eleven. And then on the flip side, the ceiling is eleven and six, so they could potentially go eleven and six as well. I think at the end of the day, records aside, if you're just projecting where they fall within the division, I have them falling second within the division. And obviously, uh, the Chiefs are number one in this division. I mean, they've been dominating it uh, for a while now. And looking at what the Chiefs have here, you know, their floor is 10 and 7 for me, at least looking at their schedule. I think that they go somewhere between 12 and 5. 12 and 5 I have as a ceiling. Maybe it could be even higher than that. And that's really just because of the whole Chris Jones factor. But with or without Chris Jones, this team at least wins 10 games minimum. And obviously – they really dominate a lot in the division, and they're able to take advantage of that. Um, and so those are my division winners for the AFC. Please feel free to hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. We truly appreciate that. Uh, but let me know what you guys thought about this. Obviously, I have the NFC to do. Uh, one of the things that I tried to do was actually look at the divisional matchup history to get a better grasp of how many divisional games each team would, would either split you know, sweep and all of that. So hopefully that you guys enjoyed this. Let me know in the comments if you guys like this. Let me know what you guys think your divisional rankings are for the AFC North, the AFC West, the AFC South, and the AFC East. Would love to hear from you guys. And as usual, I am Ace Boogie. Appreciate y'all um, for tuning in to New Stripe City. <laughs>